11 computer family consists of a series of compatible central processors and a variety of peripheral devices, operating systems, and application software. Although the processors in the PDP-11 family are different in terms of speed, size, and overall performance, they do have several common characteristics. They are all 16-bit machines and can work with 16-bit words or 8-bit bytes. The central processors also execute a common set of instructions. Although additional instructions are implemented in the larger processors, the same basic instruction set is shared by all. Finally, the PDP-11 processors have a similar architecture. Because of these common characteristics, the processors are upward compatible. This compatibility allows PDP-11 users to upgrade their computer systems to more powerful processors without having to rewrite existing programs. Within the PDP-11 computer family, there are processors intended primarily for end users and equivalent models for original equipment manufacturers, or OEMs. A typical end user purchases a complete computer system for direct use. An OEM, on the other hand, purchases just the basic hardware. The OEM then incorporates this hardware into a system for resale to an end user for use in a specific application. PDP-11 processors that are designed for the end user market generally have more standard features and hardware than equivalent OEM models. In addition, supporting services such as documentation, training, warranties, and installation are supplied with the computer system. In OEM computers, some of the hardware and supporting services are unbundled. In other words, installation, training, and so on are not supplied unless an OEM customer contracts for these services as optional items. In this study unit, we will divide the family of PDP-11 processors into four major categories. Microcomputers, mini computers for dedicated applications, mini computers for multitask applications, and medium scale computers for large multi-user multitask applications. We are now going to identify and briefly describe the PDP-11 processors that fall into each of these categories. The LSI-11 and PDP-1103 are classified as microcomputers. They are the smallest and the least expensive members of the PDP-11 family. These microcomputers execute the same basic set of instructions as the larger processors in the PDP-11 family. However, their processing speeds are slower. The LSI-11 is constructed using large-scale integration techniques hence the name LSI-11. With large-scale integration, hundreds of logic gates are fabricated on just one semiconductor chip. Four of these semiconductor chips make up the processor section of the LSI-11. Storage and logic circuits for up to 4K of MOS memory are also provided on this LSI-11 microcomputer module. Memory expansion modules and I.O. interfaces for the LSI-11 are contained on individual printed circuit boards. The PDP-1103 is simply a packaged version of the LSI-11. In addition to the microcomputer and main memory, the 1103 includes a power supply, a serial line interface or a teleprinter or display terminal, an operator's panel, and the enclosure. The 1103 is marketed to OEMs and high-volume end-users. The LSI-11 is sold primarily to OEMs, who then integrate this microcomputer into a larger system. We'll have more to say about the LSI-11 and PDP-1103 later on in this study unit. Our next category of PDP-11 processors includes the PDP-1104, the 11... These mini-computers are designed primarily for dedicated applications, such as data acquisition or numerical control. The PDP-1104 is marketed to both OEMs and end-users. 
The 1105 is only marketed to OEM customers who are integrating a small processor into a larger system for resale to a specific market area. The 1104 offers customers a choice of non-volatile core memory or solid-state MOS memory. On the other hand, the 1105 only uses non-volatile core memory. The 1110 processor is electrically identical to its OEM counterpart, the 1105. However, the 1110 is packaged for end users, and therefore it offers more standard features and expansion space than either the 1104 or 1105. Our third category of PDP-11 mini computers is designed for multitask applications. The PDP-1134, 1135, and 1140 fall into this category. These mini computers can handle several problems simultaneously, such as in time-sharing applications where many users are interacting with a computer on a concurrent basis. Or they may be used in real-time situations, such as industrial monitoring and control, where many tasks are active at the same time. The 1134 is marketed to both OEMs and end users. This mini computer can be purchased with either solid state MOS memory or with non-volatile core memory. The 1134 also contains more standard features than either the 1135 or 1140. Features such as memory management and an extended instruction set are an integral part of the 1134 processor. The 1135 and 1140 mini computers use core memory only and are electrically similar. However, the 1135 is directed at the OEM market, while the 1140 is packaged primarily for end users. The fourth and final category in the PDP-11 computer family includes the 1145, 1150, 1155, and 1170. These medium-scale computers contain additional hardware and features that are necessary for large, multi-user, multi-task applications. They are complete systems that can be marketed to both OEMs and end users. Therefore, separate model designations are not used to distinguish an OEM system from an end user system. The 1145, 1150, and 1155 systems incorporate the same basic CPU and bus structure. However, they differ in the types of main memory that are supplied in the basic system package. For example, main storage in the basic 1145 system consists of 32K words of core memory. On the other hand, 1150 systems use faster MOS memory or a mixture of MOS and core memory. 1155 systems are supplied with 32K of bipolar memory, or a mixture of bipolar memory and core memory. Larger 1145 and 1150 systems can be expanded using combinations of bipolar, MOS, and core memory, so that these PDP-11 systems look alike in terms of main storage. The 1155 is designed to accommodate a very fast floating point processor option called the FP11C. Thus, the design of the 1155 is optimized for extremely high-speed number-crunching applications. The CPU that is used in the 1170 system is similar to the 1155 central processor. However, the 1170's bus structure is redesigned to effectively triple system throughput. With this redesigned bus structure, DMA transfer rates of up to 5.8 megabytes per second are possible in the 1170 system. You should now refer to the review material and exercises contained in your workbook. The workbook will tell you when to return to the audiovisual program.